Welcome back, DIYers, to episode three in the series Become a Backend Developer. Today we are going to be talking about the tools required for the backend developer. The tool set's pretty straightforward, so we're going to dive right into it. You know, I'm going to start off quickly with Sublime Text. We covered that in the front end um, tutorial, but Sublime Text, again, is a really great solid editor. And again, I will link to all this stuff in the description below. This text editor works on front end, works on back end, and, and does really well with both. So I'm going to recommend this. Again, you can kind of use whatever you want. You can use Dreamweaver, you can use all kinds of different things. But I recommend this, and I recommend the more simple text editors just because they're lightweight, they're faster, and they typically have better plugins. Second thing we're going to cover is the terminal. I use iTerm. iTerm is a very solid comparable to your typical terminal that your Mac has and your Windows has. I believe iTerm is Mac only, but it is a solid piece of software and has some added functionality that your terminal will not. I will link to this again in the description and I will list out any competitors. I do not believe there are any direct competitors with iTerm that I know of, but this the, the text editor and this are going to be the two most important pieces you're going to work with, especially from a efficiency standpoint. The next tool we're going to talk about is MAMP. So I have MAMP Pro. I paid for the license. I think it's like $49. It allows you to basically set up a virtual host pretty much anywhere on your computer quickly and easily. It's a premium one, but it's worth it. You know, I can set up any of the hosts I want to set up. There is also a free version, which is just MAMP, and I will probably try and use that in these tutorials moving forward, but if you can do MAMP Pro, it'll allow you a lot more flexibility, and it will probably make you happier in the long run. Personally, I think it's the best $49 I've spent from a back-end developer technology perspective. This is what you will need to make sure that your PHP or whatever back-end framework you're running will run. So, get it. No, I'm just kidding. Don't just go buy it just because I said buy it, but check it out. Try MAMP. MAMP is not the same because you don't have virtual host. You just have your local host, and there's a lot of configuration that has to happen if you want to do anything outside of local host. Take a look at MAMP. There will be a, lot, there will be a link in the description to both MAMP and MAMP Pro. There's WAMP, I think, for Windows. So, I mean, there's definitely ways to make this happen, whether you're Mac or PC. So the last thing I'm probably going to cover in this episode is going to be, you know, the how you deal with databases. I use SQL Pro personally. There's MySQL Workbench. There's a few different options, but this is a great way to use your databases. You can connect. I can't connect. This is a great way to use your databases um, locally on your development machine and as well as things on your dev server or your live servers as well. This is a quick tool that's easy to set up, easy to configure, and it allows you to see all your data in one place on your local machine quickly. If you want to do testing locally on a new web build that you're building for the back end, you can do it locally, push it up, and then not only check it locally to make sure it's working, but check and make sure your dev's working and make sure your prod's working, which are it's a really great tool. MySQL Workbench works pretty much the same way. I believe that is a premium product. I do not believe that that is free, but I will link to both in the description, and I am definitely down to hear any kind of new tools in this arena. And I think that's it. That's, that's probably all I'm going to cover in this episode because, truthfully, there's not a whole lot you need to be a back-end developer. There's, you know, you, we could probably do some database schema tools. We could probably do things like that, but... We'll cover those as we come across them. For the most part, these are the core ones you need to know, and all of them are pretty much free. Sublime Text is a long trial period, but it and it's not an expensive piece of software. MAMP Pro is only $49, but there is a free version. SQL Pro is free. And, you know, that is iTerms free as well. So, I mean, that's it's a pretty solid technology stack for not a lot of money. And I think, you know, if you're serious about getting into backend development, it's, it's all worth the money. I am not trying to make any advertising dollars off of any of this. Nobody has paid me to say this. This is just from my experience and working with these different technologies and technologies that are out there. That These are the best to work with out there that I've worked with. So take a look. I hope this helps. Looking forward to diving into this series with you. Take care, DIYers.